WWE SmackDown New Year's Revolution first SmackDown of 2024. Yeah, kind of similar to how I felt about WWE Day 1 Raw this past Monday. Uh, tonight, SmackDown was a really, really good episode. You know, Kevin Owens and Santos Escobar kicked off the show to decide who was going to challenge Logan Paul for the United States Championship. Logan Paul was on commentary. This is a really good match. Really, really good opener. And uh, Kevin Owens won the match. So... Uh, Kevin Owens will officially challenge Logan Paul for the United States Championship at the Royal Rumble Premium Live event. And uh, that one should be a good one there. We saw uh, Bobby Lashley and the Street Profits could have promo when they talked about 2023 and their plans of dominating and holding gold in 2024. But uh, we saw Karen Cross come out and he's been teasing some cryptic stuff, obviously. Um, and, you know, people were saying he's putting the faction together and. It's true, it, you know, it, it happened uh, because AOP, the return of AOP as a tag team, along with their manager, Paul Earning, aligning with Karen Cross and Scarlett, who, by the way, man, she looked good tonight, Scarlett, just a quick, quick pun, I had to say it, but um, nah, man, they are aligning them with Karen Cross, so Karen Cross, AOP, the new faction, and uh, just by off the look and the attack alone, Hopefully, this should be good things, obviously. You know, we talked about it on the channel. We talked about it before. Uh, Karen Cross has been kind of stuck in limbo, um, really, since he's gotten back to WWE. So, hopefully, this faction here can kind of spice things up a bit and help, you know, elevate him in some way, shape, or form, hopefully. We had a really good SmackDown women's match for the women's title between EO Sky and Michkin. Um, I definitely enjoyed this one, man, me and Yim. I think is um, you could definitely put her in the underrated category and uh, definitely, definitely got to show off her skills tonight against EO Sky. EO Sky obviously retained the championship, but uh, this was a really good match for the women here. Now, we saw a tag match play, uh, obviously, between Pretty Deadly versus Tyler Bate, who is, at this point, he's finally on the main roster, which is honestly a good thing. Uh, dude's been on the main roster for, no, he's been on NXT for like, 800 years up to this point like it, it was time to come up to the main roster so him and Pete Dunn actually made a good effort tonight they won the match and uh honestly you keep Pete Dunn Tyler Bate as a tag team I honestly wouldn't be mad at that like they looked really good tonight and they can honestly look really good as a tag team going forward so we'll have to see about that uh, Paul Heyman responded to the rock obviously you know saying that look man rock like you ain't you you're trying to feed off of Roman's relevancy and I thought it was actually a really good promo Paul Heyman cut if you haven't checked it out I would definitely tell you to go check it out uh but yeah obviously the triple threat match main event AJ Styles Randy Orton LA Knight uh this is a pretty good triple threat match um the ending was pretty crazy and uh looks like Roman's got a handful for him at the Royal Rumble that's all I can say but um yeah man overall this is a really really good show and uh yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my WWE SmackDown New Year's uh, revolution. So, yeah.